What's going on guys? I am super excited that I received my Sterling 10.5 prototype torque locker today. This thing is designed to work with Ford's three pinion system inside their differentials and it uses some of the factory components in the differential to help keep costs down. I can't wait to get this torn apart, see how this system works and then actually hit the trails. <music> First things first, in order to get this torque locker installed inside this case, of course we have to pull these six bolts off to get the case in half. They're 14 millimeter bolts. I already broke them free because they were pretty tight. Uh, they're torqued to 90 foot pounds, so I had to have a buddy hang onto this so I could break them free, but now we're just gonna zip them right out. So I can pull this top half off. Oh, look at that my clutch packs actually came right out with that so we've got I believe this is a spring washer and then a conventional thrust washer and then we just get into all the clutch packs so we've got on this side of the gear one two three four five it's like five clutch packs and steels similar to a transmission or I suppose any other limited slip differential for that matter so we'll throw these away. I don't think we need any of these now. And then uh, we're going to need this side gear. So we're going to set that aside. So then we can pull out our three pinion, whatever we call this centerpiece, our uh, three pinion system. We're going to be able to pull these fighter gears off. We're definitely not going to use those. And this... This piece we are going to reuse, so hang on to that one. And of course the second clutch pack down inside, same as the first. Now that all of our clutch packs are removed, we're going to take one of these spacers that's just going to live where the clutch pack used to live. Now I don't believe we need any of the original thrust washers or that spring plate, because uh, this system comes with its own springs. And I measured the thickness of this, and this spacer is a little bit thicker than all of our clutch packs and our thrust washer combined. So I'm pretty sure we're not gonna need any of that. So we can drop this back in. Then, we can take one of our actual locker halves. You can see it's got all these machined areas and it's concave and it actually matches the side gear so it'll actually drop right in place and lock onto that side gear remember this three-sided cross piece again we're going to reuse that so we're going to rotate our uh our torque locker to line up those grooves then we can drop that guy right in the middle there and it sits pretty tight uh, again i was wondering if i needed that spring plate or maybe that thrush washer, but I really don't feel that there's room. I have a little bit of movement up and down on that, but not a ton, so I don't think there's enough room to have those. So I'm pretty confident we're not using either one of those. Because again, this is a prototype. There's no instructions. I do have a message out to Cora, but I haven't heard back from her yet because, well, it's kind of late. So we'll see. She may tell me I'm doing it all wrong, and we'll tear it apart and do it right, but I'm pretty confident so far we're doing this right. So again, now we've got the first half of the locker in. We've got our three-sided cross pin in. Now we need to get some springs in here. So again, just like any other torque locker, it comes with these little springs. We're gonna drop one in that cup. That's our only cup we have on this side. The other cup is on the other side, so Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put some Vaseline on those, hold those springs in place. Just a little bit of Vaseline in each one of those holes. It'll just help us not lose our springs. The 
see how that works. See, springs don't fall out. So now we can align that one. Seems to do what it's supposed to do. We'll drop our other side gear on here. And then put the other half of our case back on. So I can see it is bouncing on those springs. You can also see separation between the two halves of the locker in there, which again, I just installed the torque locker on the Dana 60, and I think there was 145 to 165 thousandths of a gap between the two. This looks a little tighter than that, so I know for sure I'd have no room to add that thrust washer back in. So I'm confident I've answered that question on my own, but I'm sure there's a spec here. I just don't know what it is yet as far as what that space between the two halves is. All right, we'll zip these guys back in. come back later when I have a buddy and we're going to torque those. Those need to be 90 foot pounds. So I want to make sure that's right. So before this all goes back together, those will be torqued. All right. So we're going to bring in here to show you that we do have a gap in here. It's not a lot. We're going to measure that and figure out exactly what we have. Again, on the Dana 60, I think there was, I think I had 145 thousandths or something along those lines. So this is definitely tighter. Don't know if that's good or bad, but that is what we have. So I did talk with Cora today from Torque Locker and she's telling me that my gap should be between 160 and 170 thousandths. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this back apart, see if we can figure out why I don't have good separation between the two halves. So I pulled this top half off. Just want to make sure there's not another piece in there, which there's not. I can feel the cutouts. There's definitely not a thrust washer in there that I missed. It's possible that maybe there's still one stuck on one of these surfaces. And it does seem that way. There it is. One more thrust washer, or actually it's one of the steels from the clutch pack was stuck on that gear. So let's pull it apart and double check the other side now that I know that's a possibility. Would you look at that, there's one on that side too. So these last two were really stuck on there and that's what we missed. See, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make mistakes so you guys don't have to. I can already see a huge difference. All right, now we're close. It's a little loose. I'm at 155 thousandths, so. That should definitely put me more in the ballpark of where I need to be, 160 to 170 thousandths. All right, this is definitely set up correctly now. I feel way better. I'm glad I pulled it back apart and double checked things. We're good to go now. Let's finish this install. All right, guys, so that's it for the install of this prototype Sterling 10 and a half torque locker. Uh, they do have a part number TL10535. I have no idea on the cost yet. I don't know when these are gonna be available for sale. All I know is I am extremely happy to have it going in my axle. So it's going to be a little bit, a few more weeks. Hopefully I'll get this all wrapped up and ready to get on the trails. We're going to do the Great American Crawl and we're really going to push this thing. So definitely stay tuned and see how this thing performs. Hell yeah!
link down below to Torque Master's website. I don't know when this product will be on there, but they have all kinds of other lockers for your Dana 60s, your Dana 30s, your 44s. They have them for side-by-sides and four-wheelers. They even have one for a Kubota. So they have a great line of products. They're just about bulletproof. Highly recommend them. So definitely check out the website. Get your own torque locker. In the meantime, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'll see you next time.